Okay, this is a quick video on how to test defrost termination switches or defrost thermostats um, or thermal cutouts as they're sometimes called. Basically, I had this one in my freezer. It's cold. And it should read continuity, which we do read. And that's what they should read. I had this one in the freezer too, and it reads, should read continuity. Yep, still does. This one here I had in the freezer, but I took it out a little while ago, and it's already clicked off. So it's got a higher temperature range, probably. Or a lower temperature range. Well, whatever. <clears throat> Point is, that's all you got to know. If they're cold, they should have continuity. If they're warm, no. They should be wide open. That's to control your defrost element. You don't want the defrost element getting too hot in there and melting everything. Which won't happen as long as the timer's running. Now, in the newer ones where they've got the... Uh, Electronic defrost, strange things can happen. But if you get a relay that welds on, stays stuck on. But normally this will shut it down. The only problem is that these open up and then they won't reclose, which sometimes happens when they get older or get shorted inside. Not shorted, but burnt inside. Then you don't ever get into defrost because it can't complete the circuit. The element stays off and you have to replace them. A lot of times they'll actually split open. You'll actually see them separate the metal from the plastic part. I've seen that lots of times, and they'll actually, like this one here, will push up out of the, the plastic, will push up out of the metal right there. Anyhow, that's the video.